Hi guys, it's Carolyn. Today I'm going to show you how to make this dress. For this dress, you will need scissors, thread, your sewing machine, some pins and you'll also need about a meter and a half of fabric. I'm recommending scuba fabric because scuba fabric is good for um, using because it doesn't fray and it's stretchy. You also need a zip. You also need the pattern that you can buy on the website. Once cut out, your pattern pieces should look like this. We're going to start sewing the darts into the front top pattern piece and the back pattern piece. You're then going to take your front and sew it to the back. And you're going to do that by sewing down the side seams and across the shoulder seams. Once you do that, you should have something that looks like this. All the darts are on the inside. Next up, you're going to take your sleeve and you're going to have marked where the little pleats are in the sleeve head. You want to fold them in now and stitch them so that they stay in place. You're then going to fold over the bottom of the sleeve and sew it. This just finishes off the bottom part. I'm using a zigzag stitch so it can stretch. You're now going to fold over and sew down the side seam. Make sure you've marked the front so that you know which piece to attach to the front. I've now pinned it all the way around inside the sleeve hole and I'm going to stitch that now. And remember and line up the top of your sleeve with the shoulder seam. Once in it should look like this. Next up take your front and back pieces of the skirt. Sew the two back pieces together but leave a 9 inch gap at the top. Then put these together and sew down the side seams. You're now going to take your frill pieces and sew them together like this want to attach this to the bottom of the skirt now to give the frill effect so we're going to turn them both right sides facing each other and attach it all the way around the bottom with pins and sew all the way around. Once you flip it round it should look like this. We're going to attach the top and the bottom pieces together now. All that's left to do is to insert your zip now. I've chosen a really nice gold zip which is visible. Um, I got this off eBay for £4. The size of zip you would need is a 22 inch zip. I've put a 16 inch zip in and added a little peephole at the top. And there you have it, your dress should now look like this and is ready to wear.